Welcome back to another video and today we are going to take a look at the RA 4x2 HDMI 2.0 matrix switcher with audio extraction. Now if you are looking only for audio extraction I will leave a link right over here on the YouTube card so that you can take a look at one or if you are looking for HDMI switcher then we also took a look a few weeks ago and I will leave a link right over here. But today we have a matrix which means that we will be able to input four different sources via HDMI. We will be able to output to two different displays and we also have the audio extraction that we can plug into a amplifier via optical or even a 3.5 millimeter jack. And we also have a remote control that we can control all this, just like a DJ for our displays. And we are going to take a look on how it works. Now let's start with a quick unboxing. Inside the package we will find the Ore 4x2 HDMI matrix switcher. We also have a quick user guide, a remote control, and we also have these adapters that we can put on the sides so that we can mount it on a rack for example. In terms of connectivity we will have four HDMI inputs, two HDMI outputs, one optical out, one 3.5 millimeter jack and a selector and also a micro USB for service and a DC in. In the front we will find the LED power status light, we also have an infrared receiver, a button to control the source for the output A, a button to control the source for the output B, a audio selector for channel B or A, a 4K to 1080 downscale button and HDMI arc button in case our amplifier has HDMI arc. If this sounds complex or abstract, Let's take a look at a real example. Here we are with the example setup for the Ore 4x2 HDMI 2.0 matrix switcher. And at this moment, we've got four inputs connected and two outputs connected. So this is output A, output B, and we have on the inputs one NVIDIA Shield TV, which is right over here, a Apple TV, also a Windows computer, and a Mac computer, which I will show you in just a few moments. We are outputting audio through a 3.5 millimeter jack at this moment, but we also have the option to output via optical for a amplifier or a stereo that we have. Now, in terms of the interface, we already seen, but to see how it works, for example, at this moment, I can just select the output A interface right over here, output B interface right over here from 1 to 4, 1 to 4. We also have the audio selector so I can play audio from source A or B or output A or B to be more precise. We can also downscale the image from 4K to 1080 which we will not need at this moment because we are using two 4K displays and lastly we have the arc button so we can activate HDMI arc in case your stereo has it. So that being said let's take an example right over here. So if I press this button I will select the output for the channel a. And if we press again, it will go to source number three. And once it goes, and depending on the device, it will take longer or not. And these displays also take quite a bit of time. I have TVs that are quicker to respond. So this delay doesn't have to do with the ORE switcher or the ORE matrix, but with the display itself. So it's on number four. And if we want to go back to number one, I just need to press the button once again and there we go. Now the only limitation that we have right over here is that we will need to cycle through. So if I want to go from one to four, I will need to go uh, between number two, number three until we reach number four. If we want to bypass this, we will need to use the included remote control which has the output for channel A, output for channel B, and then the audio selector right over here. So in this example, if I want to jump from three to one, for example, on channel B, if I use the manual, I will have to cycle through, but if I use the remote control and if I press one, it will change immediately to source one, and it's displaying at this moment the same image on both displays. So if I want to quickly change this one to number two, uh, which is the Apple TV 4K, we will have the image right over there. And once again, this delay 
it has to do with the displays which take quite a bit of time even when we change on the settings of the display to change from one computer to another but there we go as an example if i want to change this one to number four we can just press number four and that one to number one we can change to number one and basically this is it now let's take, let's take a look at the audio test which there is something really important on this kind of device which is the audio synchronization so here we will put a video playing compress the audio and image and that it's not uh, good in this particular case we will have a real pass through so whatever comes in it will go out up to 4k at 60 hertz 10-bit video and all those formats that I already mentioned and also down below so as you can see, this is the audio extractor from Ori that we have seen a couple of weeks ago. But the important message right over here is that we have audio synchronized. There are some devices, cheaper devices, that do not have the audio synchronized, which will ruin the experience. Right over here, we have the audio synchronized, which is exactly what we need for this kind of device. Now, we are playing audio from channel a but if we select channel b it's exactly the same content so let's change uh, the output b to the apple tv and let's put right over here also a video at this moment we are playing audio from the a side and right now will give us a lot of options to configure and to use we are playing audio from the phones B side this is for the first time i've been using for the past few days so only the audio Apple coming out from channel so b and, and if we select so hopefully hey it will go to the nvidia shield to the b we need to decide and then if i decide to put our number two router, right over there we will have the same audio AI. output but in this particular case, particular case coming out from channel b and sorry about that but just so that you can see live over here that we have image and audio synchronization on all four channels we just need to select which channel we want to extract the audio from this one or this one in this particular case a and b and that is it hope that you enjoyed all those tests and that it did help to explain the possibilities that we have with this matrix right over here that we can connect up to four inputs and two outputs now this is more targeted at the corporate environment and not so much at our house Olds. We can see this on companies that have, for example, like hotel business, where we have more than one display. And if we want to display a kind of image in one and a kind of image in the other one, we will be able to use this as a DJ. So I can select a football game right over there and right over there, the hotel info. I can also select which audio I want to have at a certain moment. At this moment, probably I want audio from that display which is football on but later on i will want the audio from display a which has the hotel information and of course we can multiply this controlling one output might be able to control several displays on one channel and we can also control several displays on the second channel so we have endless possibilities right over here to enhance our business especially if we have displays to send the image that we want for our customers. Hopefully this video was helpful to understand a little bit better how this device works and the possibilities that we have. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. If you still haven't subscribed, please do so that you can keep on getting news as soon as they come out. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.